How's it going, everyone? And welcome back to Sleep by the Hearth. Feels like just the other day hit 40 subscribers and already at 45, so, you know, that's pretty freaking awesome. Thank you, guys. I didn't expect to see a jump so soon. But, uh, anyway, I'm gonna get right into it. So, I, uh, collected some gold over the past few days. So, I got three packs to open before we jump right into the game here. Let's see, we see what we get out of pack number one. Ooh, we got an epic. Another dread steed. Nice. I actually, I actually really like that card and the things you can do with it. So I'm happy that I got another one of those. Let's see what we get out of pack number two. Anything good? Got a couple of rares that were up to no good. They started making trouble in my neighborhood. That's what they do in Bel Air, I guess. And then the last pack is gonna give us uh, nothing, nothing too big, no, nothing special. All right, <laughs> didn't mean to snuffle into the mic there. Now I know last time we left off with a solo adventure, but I didn't construct the deck to beat the second one yet, and it's getting kind of late in the day. This video is already going to go up a lot later than I want it to anyway. So we are going to try again for the Tavern Brawl, which I think, yeah, I technically did make a video on this, and it was for 40 minutes, and it didn't work. I have to go back and read what it was. So all of us are, okay, so this one's weird. It's like drafting, and every other turn, everything you draft comes back into the deck. So... I guess for if you haven't played this yet, you'll get to know what I mean soon, because it's it's really bizarre. I'm trying to think what would be the best option. Um, hmm. I'm thinking probably Paladin or Shaman. Uh, yeah, let's try. Sh I almost won with Shaman one time. So. Actually, no, Paladin's got some great buffs, though. Uh, I mean, I'm sure they're all good in their own way. Also, by the way, I have some hot chocolate, so you're going to hear me occasionally sip on that, which I might as well probably do that right now before it gets too cold. I don't want it to become cold chocolate. That would defeat the purpose. Keurig hot chocolate. I know it's, I mean, it's not like the Keurig brand, but it's, it's one of the K-Cups. And all I did to it was I added a little bit, like not even... A teaspoon of nutmeg. It was like a probably eighth of a teaspoon, if not less than that, and a tiny, teensy bit, probably also eighth of a teaspoon, of unsweetened cocoa powder, just to give it that little extra chocolatey edge, and it came out pretty good. The nutmeg adds a little bit of a spiciness to it, just a tiny bit, kind of like ginger. Okay, so I start off with two chickens and three. Tarnished coins. I got the coin and two tarnished coins. Ooh, mana addict. That's actually gonna be really good for us because we can do mana addict with coin. So what we're actually gonna do is coin out. Use. I don't know if using tarnished coin or the coin would be better. We'll put out mana addict, and then uh, I could wait. Actually, no, because if I don't use them now, I don't know when I'll see those coins cycled back in. Because, like, the weird thing about this one is you actually lose whatever, you know, whatever, uh, I'm trying to think here. If you don't use it, you lose it, basically. Your, your hand cycles that every turn, and it's kind of annoying, but if you plan for it, then it wouldn't be so bad. And it's kind of easy to plan for. You just got to play out whatever you think is going to be the best, and then the rest shuffles back. And you, you don't lose it forever. It'll come back like these Whirling Blades and Armor Plagues. These are going to be perfect. I'm going to use this to get insane value off the Mana Addict. He's going to use a coin. He's going to put something out. Probably just two chickens, I'm guessing. Let's see if that's the case. Oh, yep. Just like I thought. He's going to run one into the Addict. It's not going to do a whole lot for him, though. Oh, sweet. Uh, let's see. Light Warden, Millhouse, Mana Storm, Bran. Millhouse would be very dangerous. Bran is probably going to receive insane amounts of value. 
Hold on here. No, it's Man of Storm. He's really good for a two drop though, but zero cost is just too risky. So what we're gonna do is run our two chickens in, and then we're gonna severely buff up our dude here. Make it a 6-3 for the turn. Do some real damage on the board. And now we have another mana addict with a ton of coins. But if he draws into a weapon because he's a warrior, my uh, killing spree's gonna end real quick. But let's see what happens. He's got another chicken. We need armor plating and whirling blades, so it's pretty much I have to kill the chicken. So what he what he wants me to do? Ooh, I could do avenge. Avenge would be really good. Yeah, avenge is actually going to get insane value over time. So that's what we're going to do: play another mana addict, play avenge. See, technically I can kill the chicken, or I can play out another dude, and then I can also do 10 damage to the face. So Mana Addict turns out to be really good. This game is so confusing to me. I don't know why, I just like the whole hand shuffling back in thing just throws me off. Like the, the mechanics ma making Mana Addict do like the weirdest things. It's crazy. Unfortunately, I won't be able to have any sweet combos for this turn. Do I even draw? I, f I wasn't even paying attention. Do we even draw cards? The Skeleton Knight. All right. Now it's my turn. Okay, yeah, we don't draw at all. We just get these. Okay, so now probably want the Silverback Patriarch. So we'll go ahead and run our dude in there. Go more for the face. And then now I'll have my spells back. I already have Avenge out there, so I can't use Avenge again. Actually, if he kills something, I can. Yeah, this is gonna be this. This was a uh, intensely lucky for me. Who knows? Maybe I could take a crack at a. Uh, I could take a crack at um that deck again. A, a solo adventure. I guess uh, only time will tell. Unless I wanted to do two of these for the episode. I don't know. He's gonna give a whirling plates. He doesn't need to do that. I shall be avenged. Very nice. Gives it to the chicken. And that's gonna be game. GG. Uh oh yeah, that's definitely gonna be game. Absolutely insane value. Like that's just that's nuts. Two men addicts in this game type. Crazy. So that was fun. That was a lot better than my 40 minutes of having two losses in a row. <gasps> we earned a pack, so you could see another pack opening. I forgot about that. And that proves that I had game losses the other the other time. Got quite a bit up for Spellmaster too. That was nice. Let's get that pack. Alright. And just a rare. Easy come, easy rare. All right, let's get back in here. I didn't build anything new, but you know, I'm gonna take another shot at it. It's a zoo deck. Do I have anything to count to? I don't think I do. Oh wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna pause real quick. All right, and I'm back. I got the deck ready. Hopefully, my custom murloc somewhat 
style paladin will kick the patootie out of him while I take a sip of my hot chocolate. Giant fin. Oh yeah? Well, Nurgle Urgle, Urgly Urgle to you too, mister. We are gonna toss out Fencing Coach. Keep everything else. Perfect. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> if I would have known that a uh, Murloc Knight was coming, I would have kept Fencing Coach. Oh. I agree. That was the most rude thing you could possibly say in Rudeville. Oh, really? Problem is, is he's going to gain a lot off of my uh, deal here. But you know what? I'm kind of fine with that. Because my Murlocs are going to be buffed by his Murloc stuff too. Problem is, I don't have things like Tide Collar. I think I have some of the other ones, though. Oh, shoot. He's going to use the charge one first, isn't he? Oh, no, he's not. He's going to F up royally. Perfect. Just what I wanted. Okay. Now we have Hobgoblin. Perfect. Gonna get rid of the blue girl here. There we are. I forget if it works on reinforce, to be honest. Cold lights here. Eh. Could be worse. Could be a lot worse. But no Atron though. That all that'll be brilliant. Bam. Making them swag plays. Uh, do I competitive spirit? Well, I guess we gotta see. Take that chance and see. Nope, doesn't work. Goblins and gnomes. I I wish I had more options to or more opportunities for hobgoblin. Now the problem is if you don't draw early on, like any deck based around him, kind of just falls apart. Oh dear, that's not good. Okay, good thing is that we have the Anoitron super combo here. I'm gonna do this. And competitive spirits. Alright, so let's just get rid of that guy. Go face with him because I don't want to lose him just yet. Okay, so this deck might actually hold up hold together. It took some luck getting there, but we got there. Then soon we'll have, oh man, old Murkai. He's got nothing though. He's got nothing. That Marlock Tinyfin's so freaking cute. Competitive spirit, aw yeah. And now here comes the ultimate play. Boom. Murlock Knight, let's see what we get. See what we get. Only problem is it kind of boosts him up, but I don't really care about you so much. I should have technically killed you when I had the chance. And Tiny Finn, I hate to do this because you're so darn cute. But I gotta keep everything I can off that field. He's only got two cars though. Puddle Stomper. And a tie Collar. Played that in the wrong order. Why did you play that in the wrong order? Come on, man. You know better than that. All right, so clearly this has got to go punch that. You got to go punch this. And then I should have gotten rid of my token because I'm going to have too much on the field. That works. Goblins and gnomes. Alright. And put out another Murloc Knight. Alright. Yeah, plus I kept him from drawing another card. Heh. 
he didn't get any of the good murlocs. Yeah, my murlocs get buffed too. Thank you, Grimscale Oracle. See, that's the cool part about that. Ah, there we are. Sacred Trial. Okay, so... Chuck the tokens away. Chuck them all. I should technically get rid of you, but you're too good for me. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I should probably just keep on keeping on. So I just boom. And then boom. Yeah, just like that. So we want to keep everything off the board. Ooh. <laughs> hey? I don't know. Was he talking to the the dude? Are you mad, bro, that I'm using your your own dudes against you? You should be mad. Cause that's gonna make me win. I mean, he'll get above a war leader, but I'm not too worried about it. I wonder if that counts for Tide Collar. Oh dear. Oh, sacred trial. See ya. Alright. So we did it, guys. We beat Giant Finn. Yay! Yay! Same could be said about so many. Ooh, hey, oh yes, anything can happen. Paladin Marlock Reign Supreme. Marlock Tiny Finn. Oh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this card. I don't know what yet. I'll figure it out. And now. Lady Nazjar has the final piece. What does she do? At the end of your turn, replace all minions with new ones that cost one or more. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Well, if we're replacing things, uh, we gotta do Totem Shaman. Or we can do... Actually, yeah, let's just uh, roll with a Paladin again. Funny, it's called Banana Paladin, but it's actually more like a Murloc Knight Paladin. It's quite a way to say that name. That's not very nice. Yeah, at least I'm fighting with honor over here. Let's see if we can get some good one drops. Anything? Nah. Not at all. So what does this thing do? I'm uh Yeah. Oh dear. Okay. That's certainly not good. So is that just the end of her turn? Oh that's stupid. Unless she just goes base. Let's see what I get. Oh. Well, hello there. Oh my, um, <laughs> what to do, what to do, uh, I could technically do Haunted Creeper, or I could do Fencing Coach and pray for that value. Definitely gonna punch Aedis in the face. Let's see where it goes from here, see if he knocks out both of mine. Maybe I should, uh, Bring back that deck I just used. So what do I get? All right. Okay. Um. Wow. So that's a. That's a thing. I don't know if that's really gonna help us a whole lot, to be honest. Oh, that was stupid. I should have. I should have done 
that. That was really dumb. Okay. Oh wow, I actually attacked my minion. Okay. Yeah, doesn't it? It's crazy. You are crazy, lady. All right, so let's get rid of, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, but eh, let's get rid of you. I'm going to die soon anyway. So I need a zoo deck is what I need. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, that's not cool. Okay. Very nice, I guess. Is that and both ram shield? He's gonna he's gonna help me live. Okay. Um I could do I could do a lot of things. I don't know what to do. Redemption is definitely something I'm gonna do. Um Gotta get rid of you. Definitely got to get rid of get rid of something here. Yeah, it makes sense to get rid of that because you can't attack with the other thing. Put that out on the field, and then we'll put out. I, mean, I guess it really doesn't matter what I do as long as it lives, right? Yeah. And then we could do that. There we are. Let's see what kind of crazy, crazy opponents comes up with. Yeah. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Everything's gonna be replaced in a second anyway. Okay. That's pretty much game, right? Maybe not. Let's see what we got. Oh, what? Oh, man. Uh, I should have paid attention to what I had. Okay, so obviously we get rid of you. And apparently that's a thing, so I can also get rid of you. And that's going to give me a minion. Who knows? We might actually win this one. With five health. Let's find out what happens next time on Hearthstone Ball Z. Frost Shock. I wonder if that's going to be to the face. Nope. All right. Wow. That's some stuff for you. Obviously playing Snipe. And you know what? Sword of Justice ought to be very interesting with this deck. So now we can safely get rid of... Actually, is that lethal? Let's, let's find out. Because I don't want to miss lethal. That would be kind of silly. Yep, that's lethal. It's always good to do math sometimes. Well, there we go. We got a two for one. Tavern Brawl and finishing up the uh, single player. You got it, Sir Finley. I also got to level 40. Oh, a golden true silver champion. Oh, man, that's amazing. And a pit snake. That's pretty cool, too. And a Naga Sea Witch. Your cards cost five. I'm very interested to see how this is going to play out. Very interested. I might have to try this on something. All right. Oh yeah, we also get Sir Finley. Dum -ba -da -bum. And god, the cards just keep on coming. Most players have spell damage plus two. That's interesting. Oh yeah, we got class challenges. I'll have to do that soon. Oh snap.
Says he's an extreme, the supreme archaeologist. Couldn't even find his own staff. What a nerd. I guess we'll have to find out on next week's episode, if I can talk. So, anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Actually, I'm going to go back to that because the music's just too good. So, I think it even had even different different music in here, right? Maybe not. Anyway, so, thank you guys for watching. And I'm glad we got that done. I was kind of worried that I wasn't going to be able to beat it, but I guess it wasn't too bad. Who knows? Might try heroics one day, but I'm sure they're going to be ridiculous. I'll have to look up a guide for those. Definitely. Ugh, sorry, I had a weird belch. But yeah. So, I figured if I had anything else to say, I probably did. But it's kind of irrelevant now, I suppose. As I'm sure... Many of you are asleep or otherwise. So I will see you guys next time. Enjoy.